Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Yen Bai Hu campaign. This is episode 22. We pick it up from turn 108 in the winter season of 215. So, uh, jumping back in, our main goal this episode is to end the house of Liu. That includes Liu Bei's faction over here, which is led by Lady Mi now because we executed Liu Bei. And also what used to be Liu Zhang's faction, who we also assassinated. So it seems like we have already done our damage. We did keep their... I guess it would technically be Liu, Liu Bei's nephew. Where is he? Where is he? We have too many generals. There he is. The former emperor, who now is just a regular guy. He very well could be a spy for Kongrong's faction. It's a possibility. But uh, we took the chance because, you know, Liu Xie, you know, former emperor here. We'll try to get him the capital back, but Cao Cao has it right now, so it's unlikely. Uh, not a big deal. So let's get to our armies. We ended last time with the bull winning a very easy fight in a sense against uh, Zhang Fei and Gan Ning and them. Uh, we're gonna chase this group down just to get them off the battlefield. They have double resiliency so they're fine. They're also not here. Go back home until next time. Alright. And we'll just and closer to the road. Oh, oh. Han Hao. Gonna grab us our temple here. It's a lot of prestige basically from the temple. Not very useful for us right now. But I'm happy to take it. Alright, she's leveled up. Night battle? He already has it. So, probably go for Zeal. Pop them out. Maybe this side? I go back in. Pop out. Oh, that's as close as we can on that side. We're going north towards Dong. Next army. Right behind. I don't know if we need them to go here anymore. Sun Tzu seems to have the situation under control. I mean, I guess we could go to the Iron Mine. Alright, have one team go to Dome, have one team go to Iron Mine. I, I guess Samayi can go here. Since we're already here. It's only a large town. It's a free take. We don't even need to siege a turn. Okay, so maybe we'll give them a different target. We can trade it to them afterward. They can go after this. Oh, they're going to crush it very soon, so no worries. Ah, this is going to join our river party. We're trying to get them to go towards the farmland. Yeah, we're cutting off Liu Bei's territory one by one. He has Ye over here, but Liu Bu can't go over there. Actually, we'll let Zhang Fei go. We're more interested in taking the cities. There we go. March him out. All right, so we have an army targeting every single one of Liu Bei's territories. This will do a conversion, and we also get three upgrades. It's just a huge prestige gain. A little bit of income as well, so it does help. 200 banditry. But we don't need any more money. We're just going to get more research rate to help our movement speed. Let's see. Uh, other armies have all moved. So for this one, but I think they are still replenishing a little bit. But they can move a little bit, I guess. We want them to go here. Yeah, got to go through here. I think the bridge is right there. Alright, we'll get there. Oh, It's a good, good line. Alright, I'm ignoring the assignments. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, we did lose an underling to old age, I assume. Han Sui was an underling, perhaps. Um, who makes the most gold? Obviously, Poyang, but he has an administrator. Changsha. Let's see, who can boost commerce? Commerce, commerce, commerce. 
all sources. That's pretty nice, too. Alright, you're up. Spy-wise, he's just going to hover in place. He's going to be very important. Down the line. Um, you guys really don't have anything to do. Ah, you. Are not in the army. Can we get you into an army, though? Hmm. All right, we're good. And I think those are just the three silver. Oh no, different weapons. But nothing great. Uh, we don't really need to equip much. Just cruising along. Let's continue. We finally got the Alliance peace offer. Coral had enough, but it's too late. Oh, she said died. Daughter came to power. Oh, this might complicate a few things, but we should be okay. Uh, bronze tier forged items. Oh, he's now minister steward. Oh, he's no longer administrator. Oh, they took him out. Very smart. Alright, we have to siege for a turn. We also should get rid of this army. No one has reach. No one has reach. Okay. They'll take care of this army then. Uh, just release. Alright. Huangzhou's faction is gone. Start sieging. Alright, our three army against the capital, get it next turn. Can they reach? They might not be able to, yeah. It's not only they bump into them. Oh, they can. That's good. Then we'll just let them delegate this and Sao Houdun can keep moving. What? We weren't in the fight. Oh, come on. Fine. It's more historical. Next turn, you'll update to the one eye look. That's fine. I'm less mad about this compared to other. Oh, no, 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 no. Poison Volley, Poison Volley. That's Liu Chong's son right there. In case they need to go down south. Hopefully not. We'll reinforce the siege. This is a pretty vital conversion because tool makers give you the 9% discount to recruitment. Huh, they're trying to get the weapon craftsman. They might get it, which is kind of annoying. Okay. We'll take this. This is actually a good town for us. Three counties plus a harbor. I'm not going to stress too much about um, losing that weapon craftsman because it's highly likely we'll abdicate the whole faction. So we'll get everything anyways. Oh, technically this should be a tall build. Alright, we got the cash. Let's just do it. Let's build it correctly. Regional city. We want... Income route, income route, private workshop. 
I don't know if I'm keeping the level 2 state workshop. It's only 200 industry. It feels kind of low. I don't like how you can only build them in order. That's definitely a bug. A lot of the southern commanders are pretty bugged out. See, now we can build this slot, even though we technically should be able to build on any slot we want. Definitely going to get a forge in here just for the items. Uh, I think we want weapons still. We have a pretty balanced distribution between weapons and um, armor. Three counties, so I think we're going to go with this. I guess we'll keep the 200. It's not like we really want a labor building. If we get rid of it, it's going to be a utility building anyways. Uh, that's the only source of uh, industry income here. And it's going to get boosted by a bit. Alright, pretty cool. Uh, we're going to continue picking up counties. We want the armor craftsmen in case they don't abdicate. This, I don't really care. We could fight and give it to our mercenary lord. Sure, let's do that. Let's remind the new girl that we are a good partner for their coalition and that they shouldn't get rid of us. That should not be a thought that crossed their mind. Alright, we're hopping into the river. Could be a risky move, but I feel like it's the way to go. Uh, we'll, we'll stay. Uh, we'll meet up at the trade port. We'll go together. Wait for us. Wait for us. We're going to get there soon. It should be pretty safe with the three of them moving together. Shouldn't have to worry about delegate battles. Alright, so Jiben here is going to siege. Will they surrender? That's something else I'm curious about. Save us a turn. Nope. Alright. I don't think Liu needs to go down south. We got plenty of armies there. I think we go to Zhangyang. Yeah. I don't think we need healing either. Uh, it's going to take us... I don't think we can reach it next turn. But we'll get closer. Gong Zizan did his job. We're going to give him a new job. We're going to put him at war with... Oh, are they at war with them? They are at war with them. Why can't we give them a new target? Wait, why? We should be able to ask them to take this down. But apparently we can't. Right, he has a target. He just took the target. Ah, whatever. We wanted him to take this, but... He's his own man. He can do whatever he wants. Alright, I think it's your job to go here towards Dong. Your job to wipe out these forces. Yuan is done. He's lost all his land. His last two armies here. Oh, 0%. Anyways, I think this will destroy his faction. We didn't kill her. Come on. It's fine. Jin 
And then we're gonna try to swap this with uh, Sun Tzu. Good friend, good friend. I'm glad to have you back as a vassal. Hmm. How about you give us... Hmm, I don't know which one's better. I guess we'll take the lumber yard. It'd be a less of a food hit on him. Since you guys keep telling me I'm taking all the food away from my vassals. He's healthy right now. He's fine. Uh, we're going to make a payment to him. We want to boost it all the way to 15. Yes, I have not learned my lesson about making our vassals too strong. Uh, yeah, he can have an extra point. Feeling generous. There we go. And then his job is to take the iron mine. His job is to take Dong Lai. Oh, Zhang Zhao got beat back. Zhang Zhao might get wiped. You know, he has resiliency though. He's fine. Unless you get captured. Then it's another story. Oh. Uh, Liu Bei is almost done. Alright, that's all our armies. Yeah, we're st we have stopped boosting our economy. Um, that's okay. So the naval group is ready, kind of. One turn away. Zheng Jiang needs to join up and then they can start moving. We're going to have the Emperor Seed very, very soon. I don't think we need to have too many exciting spy options. I think we're good. Let's continue. Alright, they're stealing our weapon craftsmen in Shangyong. Nothing we can do about this. Oh, and they did damage back and we get fame and fortune for that? Cool. The capital will not stand idly by and lose, so they will march out to fight us. This is quite a grand battle. We might actually play this. The defense of the capital of Sun. Usually we delegate these because we have so many armies, but because they're marching out to fight us, we'll lose a lot of men in this fight just because our army composition is really bad. Uh, but yeah, we'll take this fight. Let's do it. It's an exciting big battle. Alright, I have to applaud the AI for trying this, but uh, we outnumber them by so much that it's kind of over. So we're going to do the tactic we did before, which is we're going to run our spear guards, or, or what are these, protector of heavens in spear wall formation, right, uh, to kind of just give them melee evasion charge just so that they kind of will block all sorts of reinforcement. I don't know how wide the reinforcement will come, but let's assume this is the limit. Uh, a lot of these men will die when they do this, but I like the visual effect of them coming into the reinforced area, running into our guys. Uh, we should probably make this group slightly tighter, so hold on. So I want these four. Hmm. Given the marker, kind of want to. All right, no angles. We're just gonna do this. Last guy. I uh, should have included him. Hold on. There we go. It's like all of them. Don't let go of the mouse button. All right. I think that's pretty good. Basically, they'll come in and run into our spear wall. That's the reinforcements. A very small group. The main army is actually on the field already. What we're going to do against the main army is a guerrilla tactic. We're going to... I know they're going to go try to reinforce. So we're going to cut them off halfway. We don't have poison arrow because this isn't um, a bandit character. So we don't have access to poison arrow. Uh, but... Maybe 
a little closer. I'm gonna be invisible anyways. And then we'll just shoot them as they get, you know, as they try to go help. We'll spread them out a little bit. Do we need a general over here? We probably could use a general over here, just hiding. He can stay back. We'll have the cavalry rush out. We'll suicide this group of cavalry. And we'll just keep these three in the back with the reinforcements. All right, we're gonna put our camera here and let's get started. Run these cavalry over. Here they come. Here they're cav- Oh, they have good units too. This is the Imperial Army. Uh, this group's on the side. That's not good. General, that's why we have you. Go kill those. And we're pouring the arrow as they go reinforce. Who's the reinforcement group? Alright, there's a group here. Run over. There's a group here. Run over. There's a group here. Run over. One is coming quickly. Take down the crossbow. Good, we kept the general around. <laughs> I'll just hit them. Make sure they can't fire. Anyone not busy? Alright, close in. Alright, get, get out. Close in. Getting bombed. Go over here. Protect our army's flank. I think is what they need to do. Well, one of them should probably get him. He's killing them quite slowly because of the heavy armor. I think we're a little weak here. Our cavalry is here. Alright, now we pull them back. We destroy the siege weapon. They did their job. Alright, back to the exciting part. Chase them down. Fight them. Charge, charge. See, these guys are just cleaning up on the side. Alright, charge them. Doesn't want to duel. Oh, Jan Ma Jian. Ah, they're counter cavalries. They're not actually swords. Deceptive symbols. Can we not catch them? That's insane. No, 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 no. Stick on them. Don't let them escape. Come on. Pull out. Pull out. Crush these range units. Don't let them run. Alright. Three on one. Push them back. They're, they're getting surrounded over there. Come back and help. We haven't got the one eye update. Hmm. They're charging into us, so let's kill them. Your general is back. Hang on. Charge. We won. Charge. It's like we both serve emperors. Charge. Now, now they're now they're getting slaughtered. Oh look at that guy. We flee. We're so close. We win. Now we go back. Now we go back and kill these guys. Cavalry, chase them. Chase them. Ah, it's okay. 
We'll, we'll delegate the next win. That fight, that part is the most fun. All right, they put up a good effort. Uh, we lost a bunch of men here, but they did a good job. Uh, not Burnt, so it doesn't really matter. She's the administrator, though. Um, a bossy? I don't care. Alrighty, and Cao Cao left the empire. Good, good. He has picked sides, and he's picked the right side. All right, we were worried about that. Okay. We got another silver gear. No one too significant at this point. Let's see if you abdicate after this one here. Well, we're occupying this. We're not gifting it over to Shi Xie's faction. That would be a disaster. Alright, no longer emperor. Empire dissolves. Captured the seat. Let's talk to him. Come to your senses, my friend. You're no longer special. Where are you? Oh, Feng Mi. Right. Doesn't even have a title now. Um, I guess there's no abdicate now. It's just peace, right? It's just peace deal plus like a vassal. Huh. We could just pay him for it. I kind of want my weapon craftsman back. That's the only thing. What can we offer him? Not the toolmaker. I can give him the small city of Shangyong. Right, I don't really care about that. that's just utility right now. And then we'll just pay him a lot of gold. Or maybe not even a lot of gold because he's super poor. And then maybe a food. There we go. What do we what deal did we break? Mercenary contract deal. Ah, uh, I mean we'll still be highly respected, but yeah, we'll just keep fighting them then. We'll get back our port ourselves. Oh, I didn't think about this deal. Hmm. Yeah, about the deal. About the deal. Oh, they can't even take care of the yellow turbans. Okay. Fine. If that's the case, that's the case. We'll go take care of these ourselves then. It would just be a small distraction in the grand scheme of things. As we'll still be marching our army towards the end here. We just need one group to not heal and just rush for it. Oh, this is the one group that doesn't have reach, right? Oh, he has reach, so this is as far as we can go anyways. I think he can start CG next turn, hopefully. If not, Sahodun can do it, I guess. Oh, he's, that's pretty far. We can definitely siege. Pop out to heal. I mean, I guess I guess this means war with the rest of the region. Right, we'll go reclaim that ourselves. Wipe that out. They'll wipe this out. He'll take care of this side. We can go into Chengdu over here. Any more movement boost? Fatigue rate? Upkeep cost? Discount? That's pretty nice. Yeah, but nothing too crazy left. Two new spy positions? I can take that, actually. But it's three turns. Anything quicker for spy positions? There should be a blue one if it's spy-related. 
Nope. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of want to just take a few. That's one turn and just punch out a few reforms. I don't really need spies in a sense. All right, our river group. Right, the race is still on. Uh, hop into the river, join the group. We can set out without her. She can trail behind. I don't want to waste too much time. <laughs> I'm going to visit Zhuge Liang. Oh, we can even send her back to reclaim her original land. And these two can keep sailing. That can also be a different storyline. Alright, we'll start the siege. Alright, and we'll make sure to cut off if they run again. But somehow I think they're gonna be done here. I think our army behind is gonna finish them off. They gotta run. Oh, they're not running. They accepted their fate. Well, very well. Still not dead. Come on. There we go. She still didn't die. She just... It's the second battle, so they leave the field, and then we finish the faction. No? Yes. Good. Duchy of Drone is gone. Do we have anyone interesting? Mediator? Nah. We'll go help out in Zhong. He, they do have an army here. Oh, we can hit him. He's gonna run. Oh, we can't hit him. Can we hit him? We'll drag him into this fight, I believe. No, we don't. He's behind this rock. Well, we have to siege here. But I think we have their army kind of trapped here as well. This one can resolve now, right? Ooh, they put a general here. Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh. Alright, that was a tough fight for them. But good for them. Oh, they're both racing for reach. Okay. Actually, this is the way. I don't know if they can even get here in time to help, but maybe they can help. So it seems all that remains of Liu Bei's faction is Dong. Yep. Down to one territory. Uh, he doesn't need to go over there. I'm probably going to go over here. Sun Tzu seems to have a hiccup in taking this large town. But I guess more armies are coming, so it's pretty much over for them. Uh, do we still have army that didn't move? I think we moved everyone. And uh, there's not much to do with our spies. 
Yeah, I think we're... He left the faction, the Empire, so he shouldn't leave us now. At least that's what I think. Mm, we could extract her. She's not... They have one army on the field, and that's the army that's in the Weapon Craftsman. Everyone else is on the bench. I think they're just too poor. I think you served your purpose. There's really no one for us to like discredit or anything. Like he got removed from office, but still plus 53. Yeah, we don't have enough things to do. So I'm just gonna let her come back. And this way we have an empty slot to do other things. Uh, you're more interesting. We could be, we're just gonna save you to betray Zhuge Liang. You're gonna be the Wei Yan of Ma Chao's faction. Alright. That's uh, pretty much everything. Let's uh, continue. And Ma Chao decides to offer us a peace deal without paying us anything. You crazy? You know what we could do? Is ask him if he's willing to abdicate. Like, peace plus... Is abdicate no longer an option? Like, shouldn't there be one... Huh. Is it because we are bandit? And you can't annex? Oh. It's because we're a bandit. We can't annex Han factions. And abdicates pretty much an annexation. That makes sense. So we actually have to take the seat ourselves. Okay. We'll just pick up these one turn reforms. Doesn't even matter what bonus they provide. Wow, so many more items. <laughs> Prime Minister is our spy in Cao Cao's faction. This is just Cao Cao's way to swear loyalty to us. Uh, daughter, we don't need night battle. We probably want, yeah, I probably want you to get your buffs. Can you guys come help, perhaps? Just to make us look better. Lose less men. And the most important thing this turn is to pop down, don't, so we can see if um, Liu Bei's men will join us. Because we did save a bunch of their lives. We didn't, we didn't kill a lot of them. So maybe, maybe they'll come over. Tai Xun, we'll release him too. Alright, faction is not destroyed because they have this army on the field. We get reinforcement range. I'm sure we can chase them down. Alright, Zhang Fei's in here. Okay, it doesn't matter. I just want to get rid of their faction. I want to recruit their units. We might have to fight them twice. No, they're gone. Faction destroyed? Yes. This one, this one. Ugh, come on, seriously? You guys don't want to join us? We released you. This is a yellow turban character who's wearing a Han armor. <laughs> Strangest thing. Anyways. Uh, maybe next turn? There's small hopes. I mean, I guess they can go join Zhuge Liang over there in, uh... Oh, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Eh, uh, sure. We'll save Beihai for Sun Tzu.
They took it. All right, new target for you guys. Actually, can you help us in a war against them? I don't want to march all the way over there. And you guys can get a new farmland. And then... You guys can help us take the farmland, since you guys are so close. We'll take care of this. I don't want the city though. They can somehow take it. It'd be better. I'll just take the livestock farm. They'll take the farmland. Yeah, if we take the city, we'll trade it to them. Like, I, I want to trade this with them right now, with a trade port. A swap would be very nice. We get some research rate. He gets some income. Taishan. Taishan. There we go. Yep, he's very happy. We'll make him even happier. Dump him a lot of cash. Would the 666 work? No. Wanted a cool number. Seriously? Okay. Oh, it's level 5. It's a bit wasted, but it's fine. We, we need research rate. We don't really need anything else right now. Small regional city. We could trade it with someone here, too. It's okay. We'll, we'll hang on to it. It's pretty bad, in a sense. Here. Separate deal. Pingyuan. Small regional city. Bohai Fishing port. Down south, farmland, farmland. Like I'm okay with him keeping some of these. I guess we'll take lumber yard because they actually give us upkeep discount. And it doesn't hurt his food. All right, and then a big infusion of cash. Here, just take it. We gotta convert this. It's a 9% discount for all spear, which is pretty good, considering we have tons of spear units. Um, that's that's pretty much good. We think we... We'll just get this, trade it away as well, grab that. We'll trade this for like the fishing port or something. We'll see. We still have tons of army movement left. As we drive up, so we're going to take both route. One group is going towards the copper mine. He can start sieging this turn, so it'll be perfect. What if we send him next to them? Would they surrender? Nope. Okay. Then we'll get them next turn, we'll get them next turn, and they'll crawl this way, we'll crawl this way, just, just to see which route is faster. Um, I don't think we need to go south anymore. We might want to pop out over here, though, for a surprise attack. We'll take this mountain path. Um, their one army has come out to face us in the farmland. Ooh, this might be a hard fight. This is not a very strong army that we have. Hmm. We might back off. Losing this army would be terrible at this point. Alright, this one we'll capture and gift. Even though it's a harbor one, we don't need it anymore. Alright, they're just sieging. Oh, our river crowd. Zhuge Liang is just going to watch us sail by. Hi!
I think it's all clear. Depending on whether they have an army in the city or not. Let's see how long it will take us to sail to Jincheng. Four turns. Well, three turns and then one more for attack. That's that's pretty quick. That's honestly pretty quick. Alright, we'll get them close. I'll debate whether we want to land or not. I think we do with Zheng Jiang's army to reclaim, you know, this region that we had before. Hold on, we'll wait till they stop. Can we give you a target now? There we go. Now he's listening. Uh, I don't need him to take... Uh, I don't want the small town. Uh, they can go take it then. And we'll keep sailing. All right, we don't need another town. Yeah, there's no need for peace. Honestly, there's no need for peace. There is a need to get them to join, pick a side. They really haven't really picked a side yet. Well, he doesn't want to be on our side, to be honest. Oh, well, he's willing to sign that. Uh, I don't care. If he wants to fight, he can fight. We're good. Let's just uh, continue. What is the warning about? Hene. Oh, we fixed everything. I don't want Hene, though. Uh, Tao Tao can have it. We'll take a copper mine back. Hene, Hene. Here, take it. Any other cities we own? Don't. Don't we're keeping. I don't think we have the city. Oh, That might be a trade piece we need to save with the uh, Liu Xun's faction. Oh, Kingdom of Xun. It's no longer the Liu anything faction. All right. Yeah, we can also give out. I will try not to take any of his food producing ones. In case he starved to death and hate us for it, we'll take the lumber yard. Okay. He's ready, super delighted. Well then then how about you pay us some gold? There we go. Alright, we got this. Which will convert perfect and we also got a lumber yard over here there we go now we don't have to manage the cities and uh, we're pretty happy with the counties that we got so let us continue the yellow turbans are suiciding into us sure. oh no it's the Tal Tal is fighting yellow turbans using our army as a assisting force sure Lupu was just like yeah you you fight we'll watch did we actually participate oh yeah we did we killed three we actually got injured let's play from the siege though all right Gongsun Zan wants to declare war on Gongsun Du is Gongsun Du still on the map I thought they died they're giving us food I mean we'll, we'll, we'll let you go fight yeah sure go fight all right my question was Gongsun Du was wiped out wasn't they all right I thought Sun Ce wiped them out, yeah. Maybe they have an army somewhere? Because I don't think I see a color. Unless they have a piece of land over here. Yeah, Gong Sun Du was wiped out. Huh, strange. Kong Rong's about to be wiped out. He has one territory left. They took that. I think we can just let them finish. I don't need to actually participate in this. Hmm, we might recall them and summon them out west. Because I think Sun Ce's army is going to have a handle on it. Because I feel like we technically painted the map 
except for the two kingdoms. And we're probably not going to be able to paint the whole map. Well, I guess if you consider, you know, territories that are friendly to it. Oh, is that different color? That's, that's Yuan Shao's, yeah. Like, that's the only thing that's not ours. After that, everything, you know, north of the Yellow River, Central Plains, south. This is a small accident, but uh, Shizia is going to take care of that. Yeah, it's it's all ours. Alright, we're going to dump some armies in the south here to help take care of the rest. Uh, we can gift that over. Alright, they'll go here. We'll summon armies here to, to take care of this region. Um, we're trying to sneak attack through. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. We missed because the circle. So, like, if we click here, they want us to go loop. Oh. <sighs> I should have, yeah. Too late to cry about it now. Ooh, level up. Actually, that's kind of uh, it's kind of useless for him because he's not going to lead. Um, charge. Since we're going to end it enemy territory anyways, let's get even closer. Gongsun Du's army, we found them. That's why their faction is not destroyed. Alright, we'll try to squeeze through here again. All right, we'll take the copper mine as well. And then we'll take the mountain pass this way as well. Everyone's racing towards the capital. Let's see if our naval can have a clear sailing here. That's Important to not get bogged down by... Oh, it's Yang Feng's territory. So it's neutral. Oh, then it's clear sailing. There's no way anyone stops us. Wait, why can't we go? Go. There we go. Ah, uh, this is the dilemma. This will be more fun. I think this is what we're going to end our episode. Ah, uh, it's only extraction. I want betrayal. Betrayal. I want him to just turn. Alright, it's a small town assault. So, not the easiest assault. Town warriors. Alright, but we're going to fight this one. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, let's battle it out with Drugo down here. Brain versus the bandit queen and our brother. Alright, this is our night assault on this town. Drugo is so smart, he should know what we're going to do. But he doesn't. Because we're going to draw most of his forces to this side. Where he think our cavalry commander and Tiger Tub. Uh, Tiger Cub. <laughs> Tiger Tub. Um, does she have... She doesn't have stock. So she'll stand with them. These boys. These boys will sneak up on the opposite side and take control of the commandery from this side. Zhuge Dan would not know what hit him. So we're going to have squads. Team uh, team 2 will take this gate. Team 3 will have a simultaneous gate taking. We'll take this gate and team 1 will be responsible for this quadrant. Yeah, not a clue, not a clue. Team two. We'll grab this. T 
Team three. We'll grab this. Charge. We'll take some damage. It's okay. These cavalries are meant to be sacrificed, in a sense. Um, let's see. How do we minimize the damage a little bit? Go here. Go here. Go here. Four. Go here. They do have a lot of archery. It's probably going to shred our cavalry to pieces. So maybe, maybe we'll get in and not get killed too much. A repeating crossbowman. They don't have the range to kill us. Are they already burning stuff as they go? Oh, these are raiders. Oh, they will burn stuff. Well, just stand here. They'll burn it. Yeah, they're going to light fire to the whole town. That's not a bad thing, to be honest. Alright, four. Can we go here? We're going to basically light up the whole town, which is... Not a bad thing. Uh, let's get our generals, call them five, group them up. These are also raiders. Okay. We're also burning the town and burning ourselves at the same time. Great. No, I don't want you guys to fight. Lights or fires. Zhuge Dan had a famous first battle, Huo Shao Xinye, right? Where he burned a small town as a fire trap against Cao Cao's forces. Today, he's going to get a taste of his own medicine as our bandit forces light up his town during the night. Huo Shao Xihe. Go here. Gonna have one unit just stand here. Just to burn the town. We can charge that. You light some fire here, please. Alright, we're gonna go kill Zhuge Dan's range units who are alone in the back because he sent all his uh, melee unit out into the fire. Alright, we're lighting every part of the town up. There we go. Fire everywhere. And, you know, hidden archers everywhere. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Light it all up. Charge in, charge in. It's all range units. Charge in. Lean forward. Burn this area. Burn here. Just, just stand here. Uh, now we're burning ourselves. Well, but we burned what we came to burn. Same thing. Zhuge Liang's like, all is lost. The town is on fire. They have archers hiding. And their generals just killed all my archers. It's time to run. Look at us. Burning Drugo Down's town. Go get them. Get these cavalry. I'll try to capture him alive. Gotta take down these town marauders real quick. Archers, fire. Town pull arm. Three, fire. Hit him a couple times. There we go. Alright. 
That's a great fight. Alrighty, so Zhuge Dan's debut, debut battle on the Romance of the Three Kingdom novel was a fire burning tactic. Oh, we got him! He was he was drawn by our tactic. He used his own trick, and we got the spy back. Uh, I would be interested in hiring maybe like a new spy in his faction, but it's not available. It doesn't really matter. Kingdom of Wu. This must be a bug. This is slightly concerning. Okay, at least it's not displayed here. It shouldn't affect our ultimate winning, uh, winning condition. But the fact that he can still become a kingdom after there are three kingdoms is really concerning. Um, anyways, he's our vassal. He should stick that way. We should get this game wrapped up. We're almost there. Our naval troops are two turns away. Our land troops are maybe a little longer. Um, but things are looking pretty good. We got Drugo down joining the army. Uh, had a fun fire battle. So we'll pick things up from here next episode. See you guys then. Bye.